Chapter 126, Furiously Massacring a Thousand Enemies, 2. However, Nanshan Hao didn't know the origin of the toad. He simply didn't understand the method, along with the technique, to capture it. He assumed that his named hero cultivation was enough to catch a small frog inside a mud hole, croak. However, when his hand was stretched out towards it, a frog's croaking came about. In the midst of the light, the frog used a speed, faster than lightning, to disappear. It was too fast to see, and it left everyone confused. After failing to catch it, Nanshan Hao was left in a daze. He didn't think that this ordinary frog could be this fast. No, Li Kai, who was struck flying away, saw this scene and became both angry and startled. He expended so much effort, but it was all in vain because of others. Oh, you are still not dead. Very good. Since the frog flew away, Nanshan Hao withdrew his hand. He looked at Li Kai, who was crawling up, with a sense of astonishment and said, Good, I want to see how thick your bones are. Take your time and teach him lesson, until he can't stand anymore. Then stop. Nandiao Hao coldly sneered and ordered his disciples. These dozens of disciples gave off a ferocious laugh and surrounded Li Kai in a flash. He's still alive after suffering a palm from royal nobles. Seeing Li Kai still alive and kicking, many cultivators were surprised. One of them said. So naive. He had the chance to escape, yet he chose not to. Isn't this courting death? At this moment, a disciple from the heavenly southern kingdom, who was part of the blockade, deviously smiled. Little demon, we actually want to see how thick your skin is. Today, we will let you have a taste of our torture methods. Even if you are made out of steel, you will definitely scream and beg for forgiveness. At this point, Li Kai's expression was chilling to the extreme. It felt as if a storm was coming. He coldly said. All of you deserve to die. Wanting to capture the escaped frog once again would be next to impossible in the future. Just this thought made Li Kai furious. Beat him. Break his arms and legs. First, then drag him over here for me. Nanshan Hao's expression turned cold. And he cruelly said. Little demon, you can only blame yourself for offending someone that you shouldn't have. In the next life, when you reincarnate into a man, you absolutely shouldn't become an enemy with the heavenly southern kingdom. The disciples of the heavenly southern kingdom viciously said as they attacked Li Kai with their life treasures. Scram. In his almighty fury, Li Kai roared. His silhouette flashed and rushed forward. This disciple revealed a cruel smile, using a body to ram into his life treasure. This was the same as seeking death. Bang. The life treasure broke into pieces. Bam. Bloody rain began to pour. This disciple was struck. It was like a baby being hit by a giant hammer, and he became meat paste on the spot. The little fragments of his bones were flying between the rain of blood droplets. Don't. The other disciples were frightened. They gathered their courage with a roar and cut towards Li Kai with their life treasures. Boom. But at this moment, Li Kai was raging tempest. He didn't use any techniques, but only his powerful body to go on the offense. On top of his fate palace was a traversing kunbang. Under the heaven transformation, his speed was extremely fast. The hell suppressing godly physique allowed his body to become the most terrifying weapon, weighing millions of jinn. This body of flesh was many times more frightening than a raging dragon. Finally, the last disciple had the chance to pitifully scream. However, as his scream was being let out, his head was crushed and brain matters, mixed with fresh blood, spurted out into the air, live treasures and flesh, regardless of which, when impacted by the hell suppressing godly physique, all would instantly be shattered. The weight of millions of jinn was like the suppression of giant mountains. Treasures and bodies were not able to withstand the impact of this godly body. Before, even the extremely powerful body of the sky shouldering ape was not able to beat the hell-suppressing godly physique of Li Kai, let alone these disciples from the heavenly southern kingdom. This sudden change shot everyone, without any techniques or actual physique methods, or the power of the Grand Dao, without any universal laws. It was only the power of the flesh. It was invincible and was able to smash all of the enemies blocking his path. You deserve death. At this point, Li Kai gazed at Nanshan Hao. His eyes became truly frightening. It was more terrifying than a devil. He stared at Nanshan Hao and, step by step, inched forward. Each of his steps caused subsidences on the ground. Under the hell suppressing godly physique, the earth itself was like a piece of paper. Kill him. Being targeted by Li Kai's gaze, Nanshan Hao yelled as he had sudden chills behind his spine. The two royal nobles also lost their colors. They roared together and royal noble weapons clashed towards Li Kai. Li Kai thunderously roared. Scram. He directly rushed forward to clash with the weapons. Bang. Bang. The two weapons of the royal nobles essentially couldn't stop Li Kai. They were indeed powerful and were able to wound Li Kai, revealing his blood, but the godly physique was too hard and the weapons couldn't kill Li Kai. Under the shock of the impact, the two life treasures began to show crack after crack. It pained the hearts of the two royal nobles. These were the life treasures that they had expended tremendous effort to refine. Kill. Seeing Li Kai's unstoppable momentum, Nanshan Hao loudly screamed and summoned the longevity treasure. The moment it came out, it turned into a giant grindstone, and it carried the potential of the winds as approached Li Kai. Bang. The moment it touched Li Kai, a huge explosion occurred. The longevity treasure shattered on the spot, and Li Kai continued unabated as he was rushing towards Nanshan Hao. Nanshan Hao's expression greatly darkened. He turned his hand to summon a life mirror, wanting to stop Li Kai. Bang. One could easily predict the result of the impact. The life mirror was destroyed and Nanshan Hao was struck flying away while spurting out blood. The sound of his bone shattering rang in the air, causing others to have a creeps. If the life mirror didn't block Li Kai beforehand, then he would have surely died. Young master, Li first. The two royal nobles lost their colors. They both flipped their palms, summoning more life treasures. With these two life treasures appearing, the power of a heavenly sovereign pierced the heavens. Wave and wave of universal laws poured downward, 
Glorious sounds appeared as the heavenly sovereign suppression was enough to destroy mountains and rivers. The earth began to crack underneath this sudden pressure. Heavenly sovereign life treasures. Seeing the two royal nobles summoned these treasures, many people changed their expressions. These were heavenly sovereign life treasures. They were capable of killing enlightened beings. Boom. Li Kai's powerful body slammed into the universal laws that were coming down from above. Suddenly, the two treasures were shaking Nod's top, as if they could fall down at any moment. Seeing this, not only royal nobles, but all of the spectators were left aghast. What kind of physique was this? It could even shake heavenly sovereign life treasures. This was too terrifying. As for Nanshan Hao, seeing such a scene, he naturally lost his colors and turned around to run. Dissolve him. Both of the royal nobles trembled in fear and definitely roared. The two life treasures combined into one and all of the universal laws condensed into a giant cauldron, wanting to trap Li Kai inside. In a flash, it exuded true flames, wanting to refine Li Kai. Seeing Nanshan Hao trying to escape, how can Li Kai let him go? He loudly yelled, Kill. After one shout, he summoned the two invisible dual blades, Zeng. The invisible dual blades suddenly vibrated, as if they felt the fiery anger of Li Kai. In the blink of an eye, the two emperor blades were unsheathed and the emperors were leaked out. Emperor's power. The moment the emperor blades exploded forward, the two royal nobles immediately lost their minds. They were too close to the invisible dual blades and could only feel the sensation of death. XSHHH. The moment the emperor blades flashed by, the emperor's power appeared and disappeared in just a second. But this was enough. The twin emperor blades decapitated and destroyed the universal laws. Even the heavenly sovereign life treasures were cut in half. The heads of the two royal nobles flew up in the air and their bodies fell straight down to the ground, spurting blood into the air like a geezer. Even though the emperor blades appeared then disappeared in just a flash, it was already enough to thrill the souls. Suddenly, the spectators couldn't help but shiver as if their souls were cut by a blade. Their entire bodies felt a cold chill and became weak. XSHH. At this time, Li Kai danced in the air with the blade in his hands. Nanshan Hao was escaping in astonishment. However, everything happened so fast that he couldn't make it too far. Open. Nanshan Hao loudly screamed, and a godly armor protected his body. However, after a whoosh, the godly armor was of no use and all of the universal laws were proven false. With the named hero power of Nanshan Hao, he essentially couldn't block the invisible dual blades that carried the emperor's aura. Nanshan Hao's body was nailed to the ground. The man was lying there facing upward, motionless. His blood left his body, making gurgling streams. At this time, he was only left with one last breath. Right now, everyone was shaking, noticing the unexpected event. Li Xuangin and Nai Ufen, who came running from afar, were amazed. They didn't dare to take action. At this moment, Li Kai's anger pierced the high heavens. He wanted to personally kill the group of Nanshan Hao, who would dare to ruin his good business. Li Kai seemed like an evil god carrying a furious wrath, causing others to shiver without feeling the chill. No one dared to look straight at him because they couldn't believe that such a terrifying aura could be emitted from a 15-year-old boy. Li Kai came closer to Nanshan Hao and coldly glared at him. Finally, his towering rage rescinded. Even if you are my enemy, I still could have spared your life. However, ruining my matters. Even if you are a sons of an immortal emperor, I would still kill without mercy. Li Kai gazed at Nanshan Hao and slowly spoke. Yo you, you dare to kill me. My heavenly southern kingdom will annihilate your nine clans. And massive, massacre your incense ancient. Nanshan Hao said bitterly as he was lying there. CRKKK CRKKK. But before Nanshan Hao could finish his words, Li Kai, with one hand, pulled out his head and spine in a flash, painting a visceral scene. Nanshan Hao's eyes were still wide open. He didn't even have the chance to pitifully scream. Li Kai casually threw Nanshan Hao's head away, and he slowly spoke. The southern heavenly kingdom doesn't have the qualifications to threaten me. At this point, the whole scene was dead silent. Everyone held their breath. They didn't even dare to make a loud breathing noise. In the far distance, cultivators were left with a chilling fear that creeped up from behind their back. 